Oh, that's terrible for me. Jeru! What a save from Jeru! <laughs> oh, what a save from the big man. What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. And just a short video, right? Short and sweet, to the point. We're going to be talking about Jeru, goalkeeper Jeru. You can see here we did pack him on our live stream and... Listen, I love the novelty of this, right? I love the novelty of having a player like this, Giroud, in goals, can play in goals, is really, really fun. Little things like this, man, is, is kind of what's been missing, I think, from unique player of the weeks and unique cards that have a little bit of hype there because a lot of people wanted to get this Giroud or they wanted to get McTominay. Now, obviously, the the conversation is going to going to go to whether Giroud is a viable option as a goalkeeper, you know, whether you can actually play him there and get wins, and I would say that, look, because of the way that the game play is, you can score with 70 rated strikers and you can save with anybody in the game, right? Especially if you do manual saves or you've got the reflexes down or whatever, right? This is a great save position-wise with the feet. It's kind of like a David De Gea type shot save there, or save shot. Um, but yeah, in terms of actually being a viable goalkeeper, I think the only thing that Giroud is probably going to be good for is the novelty of having a super sub goalkeeper or a super sub target man. Now, when we're talking about him up front as a centre forward, I think he's a phenomenal player to have if you know his limitations and his weaknesses, right? Every player has strengths and weaknesses unless you're talking about the legends or the epics or the boosters like Romario or any of those guys. But Giroud is actually a really solid option up front, lads, if you look at his stats there. 90 kick and power, 92 physical contact, and heading at 93 with 88 attack and awareness. Any of the top managers are going to give him a plus two boost to all of those stats. And he's also, in fairness to him, he's also got some excellent player skills. So you can see here that this is on our road to glory. We're only getting the plus one manager boost here. So we will have another boost to go if we were using Pep or one of the premium managers like Ten Hag, Arteta, or Xabi, right? But if you are playing him up front, I would definitely recommend spring him in off the bench, lads, right? Yeah, it's a bit of fun. It's a bit of crack. I mean, I was playing a guy and he just kept taking long shots on Giroud and Giroud kind of spilled a few of them. He's not going to be a super, super goalkeeper for you. I mean, his stats are too weak. He's a player of the weak card, so you can't reset him. You can't train him differently. You can't really do anything with this card. But look, I like to see this. It's a unique card especially if they do ever add like a transfer market into the card i reckon this could be one of the most unique and valuable cards amongst traders so yeah that is it as you see there we score a goal with Drew. let me know what your thoughts are on this player of the week and did you actually spin for him is this the sort of content and the sort of cards that you would like to see them mix it up with rather than just you know 10 different versions of mbappe so let me know and we'll talk to you in a bit peace